Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Project Zero, or as some other regions may have it, Fatal Frame. This is a game that I actually really do like. Uh, at least I want to like. I did record a failed playthrough of this about a year ago, and I had so much trouble with the difficulty of the camera controls that I just could not progress. Um, I have since watched a few other people play this, not to completion, uh, just the first few videos or so um, to see if they have the troubles that I have and nobody seems to have the troubles that I've had fighting these ghosts. So either I'm retarded or I, I don't know, something is, is not working with my brain in, reta in, in retards. In retards, yes, I'm, I'm retarded. Uh, in regards to this game. So, you know, it actually got to the point where where I originally played this last year, the controls were so awful, I thought my control pad was actually um, broken. So I ordered a brand new old stock um, DualShock 2. Uh, not a fake uh, reproduction, a brand new old stock DualShock 2. Cut it out of the packaging and everything. And I need to find out that, no, <laughs> nope, it, it's not the controls. So uh, we're gonna go new game. I really want to get into these games. I do because I'm a huge survival horror fan, and these games have always looked enticing to me. Uh, I am using the Kaiko uh, cable for the PS2, so it should be the best picture we can get. We shall have to wait and see. So I don't know now. I'm going to go into options because this is where a lot of my issues were. Um, I believe. Because look how many different control options there are. There's so many different control options here. Um, I think I had it on B. I can't remember if I want objective move or subjective move. I th think I want objective move. And we want uh, the finder on normal. Turn finder on off as uh, R1. Okay, cool. Let's just go with that anyway. And see what happens we can always fiddle with it again a little bit later on so let's go new game I'll start no difficulty options I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other uh -huh. people can't see Jack not bad studio to be fair my big brother he was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. visions. Eh? Mm. After our mother died, he was my only family. My brother was in search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist. And a man my brother was very indebted to disappeared while researching a book. When he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts, He was going far away. Shh. 
Himuro intro. Well, okay then. Let's take our first tentative. The forbidden rituals of this area. It looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group. Hmm. Well, I'm sure they are, in a manner of speaking. Um, right, voice acting is, uh, hmm, interesting, it sounds like uh, the voice actings are, uh, voice actors I should say, are in a bit of a coma whilst trying to dribble out their lines, but, you know, it's not terrible I suppose, it gets the job done. One second guys. Right, sorry about that guys, anyway, let's have a little look around, hmm, so here we are in the Himuro Mansion. Looking for a gentleman called Jansei Takamine. Hmm, okay. And a group of people, apparently. We have a camera on us, which is pretty damn cool. I like the camera. How does this... Well, actually, I didn't like the camera. That was the problem. It wasn't even the camera. It was the damn controls. This doesn't feel too bad. Don't like the way to back up away from ghosts. I have to take my thumb off the button. So now I'm maneuvering away from the ghosts but I cannot trigger the camera unless I do some 4G chess and try and grow an extra finger. Yeah, I think that was the trouble that I had thinking about it. <sighs> so is the obje objective move that I want? Not subjective move. But I kind of want reverse. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that is the problem. There is no satisfactory way of doing that. Um, ah, wait, hang on. Type A, take photograph, right. Let's see how that works. Take photo with R1. Finder is circle, that's a bit 4D chess. Uh-huh, okay. Right, that might work. Anyway, uh, enough of that. So yes, we're looking for Jensei Takamine. Ooh, hello. Now I know whenever we see like an area like this, we can take a photo of some kind of like something hidden in the shadows. Child behind. Uh, child behind what? The gate, I guess. Hmm. All right, well, let's go see if we can find Takamine. Now the running speed as well in this game is pretty funny. It's a bit on the useless side. There's walking, and there's running. Notice much difference? Nor do I. Um, yeah, weird, okay, but it is what it is. I mean, it's functional. So visually, I think this game's quite nice, actually, for a PlayStation 2 game. It, yeah, it certainly ticks all the right boxes. Now, what have we got here? There's an angry looking mask on the wall. Yes, there is. We have flashing items here. There's a box of film on the floor. Type 14 film. I found type 14 film. I think I can use it with my camera. Well, excellent. Camera controls. Whilst holding the camera, press the circle button to take a shooting stance. And to enter finder mode, you can take uh, photos with the X or R1 button whilst in finder mode, right? While in finder mode, you can control the player's viewpoint with the left analog stick. Yeah, uh, you can also use square to move the finder quickly, which is nice. And, ooh. Okay, so triangle is like a, a quick turn, I guess. That's interesting. Use the right analog stick to move around whilst in shooting stance. Yeah, that's what I like. I like the idea that we can move around whilst we're in the shooting stance. Although, you kind of have to... Oh, man, it's so weird, though, because... You have to hold down circle, right? So now you can use the left analog stick to, to move the camera about, which is fine. But to move us, we have to use the right analog stick. Uh, I don't have three thumbs. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I think the fighting is going to be the challenge in this game. I did play the Wii version of this game, and it was terrible. Because, again, because of the controls. The game was good, but the controls were awful. Anyway, there's an old camera here. I think I can take a shot. Yeah, uh, I like this. This is the, saved, uh, the way we save the game. 
Uh, and I really like this idea. So we have these old cameras. You can see I, I tested it yesterday. And this is a very old save from when I originally tried to play it way back when. So we're going to hit up a save. Overwriting data. Now, another point that I didn't know the first time that I tried to play this game. Um, there is a film uh, icon here, which is actually grayed out because we can't use it. But we can actually, if we have less than 30 shots of film left, we can reload up to 30 shots of film. Man, that would have been good to know. That really would have been good to know back when I played this game. I also tried to play this game on an emulator as well. And, well, this game doesn't really emulate too well, apparently. And there is a fatal flaw right at the end of the game whilst fighting the, the last boss. Ooh, we have some ropage hanging. Interesting. Now, I didn't get very far in this game at all. So, this is going to be basically a blind run. Hey, friend. Now, I know we can get these shots of opportunity as well. Rope hallway man. Um, and we will get bonus experience for getting all of those. I'm not going to be getting all of those <laughs> because I don't know where they all are. There's a big mirror, but it can, only shows my own reflection. Well, I mean, what, what else? What did you want to see in there? Another ghost? I don't know. You're a strange man. You're a strange man, my foo you. I guess that's your name, foo you. Right, what have we got going on here? There's an old suit of armor here. It doesn't seem to be just for show. It's seen some hard use. Okay, suit of armor on display. So, whoever owned this mansion, Mr. Himuru, I guess was an old samurai. There's an old lion mask. Many other antiques too. Collecting was the owner's hobby? Question mark. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Dust has been disturbed around the sunken fireplace as if it's been used recently. Hmm. Okay. An ink drawing scroll is hanging here, but it looks like a woman crying, but it's faded. Ah. So this place certainly has a look to it. Lots of antiques. They might have been worth something at some point. Well, antiques generally continue increasing in value. There isn't anything special in the drawer. Okay. Ooh. Oh, hey friend. Man looking down. Who is that man looking down? I have no idea. But I'm sure eventually we're going to find out. Oof. We have something here. I know whenever that filament in the corner lights up, there's an old clock here. It's been stopped for a while. There are cobwebs. Cool. Whenever that um, filament in the corner lights up, that means there's something spoopy nearby that we can take a shot of. Ah, uh, yeah, we can see, like, the uh, ghosty wavings. What do we have? An angry man. Well, I'd be angry if I was a ghost and stuck in the corner as well. So, you know, that's fair play, I suppose. These stairs have been destroyed by the look of things <clears throat> the books are falling apart I can't even read the covers oh staircase has fallen down okay I didn't even think we could get that far up there to be honest right fair enough so this game is set in the year 1986 as well good year I might say the year I was born yeah all right well let's go upstairs I wonder who's looking down on us anyway some kind of ghost around here we've got some goodies over here might as well grab them what do you have for me? Um, game? Ah. This notebook. It's Mr. Takamine's. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. A little flashback of them entering the Himuru mansion. That was Mr. Takamine. So he did come here. Now that is spoopy. I like it. 
Yes, sir, I like it. The sound design is excellent. It really is. Oof. Oh, hey, friend. You're ugly. That kind of looks like a zombie. Shooting ghosts. Okay, here we go. Um, yes, game. Shooting ghosts. Hold up the camera with the circle button and press the shutter with the X button. Or cross button, depending. Uh, to attack ghosts. When the target is inside the circle, power, mystical power, accumul accumulates. The damage you inflict on the ghost goes up as you accumulate more power in the camera. Shutterbug moment. Whilst you have the ghosts in your viewfinder and the circle gl uh, grow glows, Blech. take a shot. You can inflict heavy damage when you take a shot during a shutterbug moment. All right. Enter the t yeah, right. So let's try this again, shall we? Leave it for the last second. Boom! Eat it, you bastard! Come on now. Oh, we actually have a little bit of camera control now. Come on. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna send you to the grave like that. I like the ghost design in this game. I do. It's very good. As I've said, I really want to like this game. Yeah, how did you even get that camera? This camera has the power to expose things the normal eye can't yes. see. I remember the incident from which I learned of its unique power to capture ghosts. Hmm. Interesting. Well, could you elaborate on that incident? I don't feel anybody's presence behind the sliding screen. Well, I mean, that's good, I suppose. Yeah. <sighs> Not sure. Ooh. Uh. I mean, that's a shutterbug moment thing there, or target of opportunity, but I don't know how we get that, considering I don't think the camera can shoot through the floor. Uh, the staircase has fallen down. Probably been a while. Nothing to do with Takamene. No, I guess not. All right, let's get out of here. So, we can capture and shoot ghosts. Interesting. Look at these camera angles that we're getting as well. The game is very well made. I just wish they had sorted the controls. I mean, I suppose the controls are probably a product of their time. You know. Um, Resident Evil kind of gets a free pass because the combat wasn't anywhere near as complicated. But who knows? Maybe maybe second time round I'll, I'll do a little bit better. And won't suck quite so much goat testicles. We shall see. The door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was closed just a while ago. Uh, yeah, I was pretty sure it was closed as well. That's pretty spoopy. Oop. Somebody's down here. It's been two weeks since I last heard from my brother. Hmm. But he left a note that led me to this place. I felt as though something was calling me here. Fool you. And this is us, Miku, I believe our name is. The strangulation the strangling ritual first night. Well that sounds ominous. And here we are. You can tell the game begins properly because we're playing as a schoolgirl. My brother was here. 
change the aspect ratio on my monitor because it's in my screen. It just doesn't suit. Ooh. Hello. Yeah, someone did say something. Not really sure what that was about, but okay. Right, anyway, we have colour in the game now. Well, not that you can tell too much, but there is a slight shade of colour. So here we are, we're now playing as Miku, I believe our name is. Um, let's have a little look. So we have our inventory here. The inventory in this game as well is quite nice. I like it, I like the item. We've got no items available, of course, and we've got photos as well. Ah... We actually have these photos. Now, I don't think you can actually do anything with these photos. Unfortunately, I might be wrong. Uh, I'm very much a noob at this game. So, we can protect a photo or delete it. But I know we can only have so many photos at once. Kind of reminds me of... Um, uh, Zelda. Uh, which really annoyed me in Zelda. I was so annoying. You have to take photos of everything to build up your, your encyclopedia. But you can only take so many photos. And it's so laborious to delete all your photos. You have to delete them one by one. Ugh. I got the herbal medicine. Now, this is that this game's uh, healing item, obviously. My god, I don't think you get many of them. And the few that we did get, I was chowing back. Seriously sucking those back like a painkiller addict, honestly. Right, we're going to take this opportunity to save the game anyway, just because it seems like a good idea. Uh, let's hit it up there, because why not? I don't know if you can fuck up, and uh, so bad that you can't really continue, I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, you know, that's one of my skills, so if, if we can, we will. Right, let's keep going. Come on, Miku. Ooh. Ooh. Why wait? Oh, we don't have the camera. That's why. I was like, why don't you get the camera out? You don't have it. Right. Sure. Makes sense. Hmm. There's a lot of rope dangling around. Not quite sure what that's about. Hmm. So yeah, we're Miku. I don't know, Miku. What did you just see? Oh, hello. Pretty sure you just saw what the rest of us saw. Hmm. I picked up my brother's camera and a notebook from the floor. Mum's old camera. My brother had this with him. Uh, I found a new note inside uh, Mafuyu's notebook. Himuru Mansion Investigation. Himuru Mansion was once the home of a large land owner, owner that controlled vast areas of land. They s uh, also say that the site held some special significance that had to do with the Shinto uh, rituals of the region. I couldn't find any detailed books about these uh, Shinto rituals though. The last master of the Himuru family line massacred his entire household. Later, another family that tried to live here disappeared. Because of these incidents like these, nobody visits the mansion today, and it lies in ruins. Maybe that's why there aren't any accounts of the Shinto rituals, and why the exact location of the place isn't recorded anywhere. September 24th. I've had a bad feeling ever since I came to this mansion. I'm leaving notes in this book just in case anything happens to me. I've got to find Mr. Takamane. Takamane? And the others fast. I hope it's not too late. There are many other notes and news articles inside the notebook. Ooh. Ropes. Man on a beam. It's pretty fucking lazy to be chilling there on a beam, but sure. Uh, right, okay, so, how do we get to our menu? I think it's triangle, right, so, file, like, oh, god. 
<clears throat> well, I mean, I guess you can skip this if you want, guys, but... So we've read the investigation. Research notes. Well, which one's first? That's August 20. Right, so we go with August. August 20. Mr. Takamane needs some background material for his next work. There's a book about Himuru Mansion by a certain folklorist. And I'm surprised. Uh, I'm supposed to look into it. A book about Shinto rituals and legends from every part of the country. Author Ryuzu. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Title unknown. Uh, August 22nd. I can't find the book, but I did some checking on the folklorist. I found that he moved into Himuro Mansion to do research on it. But after some certain event, he and his whole family disappeared. I couldn't find the book, but I found a news article from that period about it. It's a small missing person story, but it might be helpful as background material. Uh -huh. September 10th, 11am. It looks like the earthquake last month and the murders in that village have something to do with the Himuro Mansion. This stuff is probably all going into Mr. Takamine's next book. He really seems to be into this subject matter. His output rate should be good. <laughs> September 10th, his output rate, yes, yes, he's working away. <laughs> he's been disappointing these last few years, but his output rate's about to go up. Sept <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, September 10th, 4pm. Uh, the entrance door is broken. When in the world did that happen? It won't open. I'll have to find another way out. I guess it wasn't broken when they first got here then. September 11th. I haven't been feeling well since two nights ago. Actually, it's more like ever since uh, Tomino. Uh, Tomino? Tomato? Tomato? Took my picture. What in the world does the rope in this photo mean, I wonder? September 10th, 1.10pm. There seems to be a few devices in this mansion that are engraved with old characters. When asked Mr. Takamine about them, he said they corresponded to numbers. I understand the first few. They're old characters for the numbers 0 through 3, but I don't get the rest. They're characters that have the same readings as 4 through 9, but they mean something different. Oh, I guess each one is a special meaning. I'll figure out the rest later. Uh, why do I get the feeling that that's going to be important at some point? In fact, I vaguely remember a puzzle involving that. I'll, I might have to write those down at some point. Uh, anyway, guys, we're, we're pretty much out of time now. So, is there a quick map button? There is. Select. Great. Oh, I do like the map, actually. The map's cool. The map actually shows us where we're going. Uh, one of the other problems I think I had with this game is the fact that enemies respawn. There isn't uh, a set amount of ghosts. They will just, every now and again, if you wait around too long, they'll, one will spawn in. And if you're not good at the combat, well, me laddos, you're gonna have you're gonna have some shit. Let me just say that. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this game here. Uh, this is the first uh, first video of hopefully many. I am slightly concerned that I'm gonna fuck this up royally because the biggest problem that ghost that we just fought was really easy. You know, um, that wasn't much of a challenge at all. The ghosts get harder. As you'd expect the enemies to get harder. But they get much harder. They get ridiculously harder. And it's not just the amount of health they have that make them difficult. It's just how fast they move. That's going to be the challenge. But uh, hey, we're going to cross that bridge. One way or another. <laughs> Whether we have to swim across the bottom and semi-drown ourselves or... Or sprint across the bridge. We'll get to the other side somehow. So thanks for watching guys. And as always. Till next time.